hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this fluffy soft and yummy puff puff if you would like to see how i made it please keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you so we're going to start by mixing our ingredients which is flour this flour is about three to four cups of flour and it's seed i'm going to go ahead and add my sugar which is about 10 tablespoons of sugar you can add more because the sugar didn't really come out next i'm going to go ahead to add a pinch of salt and also a pinch of grated nutmeg like nutmeg adds a very nice flavor to my puff i even added more because i love it so much i'm going to go ahead to add milk um, I just put one and a half tablespoon of milk because I don't like so much milk in my not just puff puff like I don't just like when something is milky generally but if you if you like it you can go ahead to add maybe one more tablespoon or two now I've never seen anyone add melted butter in their puff puff but why I added this <laughs> is because I used it to make popcorn the previous day and it was just there and I know that at the end of the day if I don't use it it's going to go to waste and my mom was already like complaining Effie this butter you kept here yeah. so I just had to add it I don't know I don't think it made any difference but yeah I added um, my melted butter next is my yeast i'm just supposed to add a tablespoon of yeast but i went ahead to add two because i felt like the yeast is not going to be active enough which was not good at all you guys if you put too much yeast in your puff puff it's going to make it strong and i don't know it's going to make it a little bit strong so mine was strong but not like bones strong but it was strong a bit and it was because i added plenty yeast this is plenty you guys make sure you have an activated yeast and just put the right amount my yeast had been on the shelf for a long time so i thought adding two spoon would do the job but it just made the puff puff strong a bit the next ingredient i'm putting is my egg you guys a quick backstory i learned how to make puff puff way back since when i was like 10 years because our landlady where we used to stay, stay is a ketra so we always watched her do puff puff and she added eggs in her puff puff and it tastes really nice but recently i don't think i've seen anyone add eggs in their puff puff so you can skip it if you want or add it if you like i just added two and that's okay now i'm going to go ahead to add my water I like to add warm water because that's the way I was taught when I was 10 years but I don't know I think you can use any water but yeah warm water so you just add and you mix so that you don't add so much water or you don't put in excess water because this is puff puff and if you put too much water I mean it's not going to mold you'll not be able to cut it inside the fry pan it's going to frustrate you so you just keep adding your water bit by bit until you get your desired texture which I'll be showing you soon So this is me just mixing thoroughly to get rid of lumps because I noticed that there were little lumps in it. So this is the consistency I will be going with. As you can see, it's not so runny and at the same time, it's a little bit thick. I don't know how to explain it, but you can see it. Now I'm going to go ahead to cover and allow my yeast to do its work you can if you're using an active yeast you can cover and um wait for 30 or 20 minutes or even 10 minutes well you guys this one like i said this yeast has been on my shelf for a long time i for in short i for uh, i dumped it it was there for about two hours plus like i the first one hour i checked it and it did not even move yet 
so i left it for about two hours plus and yeah i'm going to show you what it looks like after two hours you want to also make sure you cover your mix tightly i usually use this topper butter bucket that has cover but if you don't have a cover make sure you do all you can to cover everywhere for fast results you can put it in your heated microwave behind your ac behind your fridge i put my own clothes to the electric cooker please don't put it on top of the electric cooker i just put it beside my electric cooker while the four burners were on so that the heat can like activate the yeast faster so after two hours our puff puff is ready to be thrown <laughs> please it is ready to be fried you can see it's the yeast worked but even if it took a longer time it has to work now don't go straight into fry like this make sure you mix your puff puff mix to remove all the excess air just like this before going ahead to fry now if you want to add your onion or your pepper or any of that this is when you should add it don't add it before um allowing it to rise because it might just get the mix sour or get the puff puff sour really fast so this is me testing the texture of the puff puff if um it will be able to cut i don't know if you guys saw that so yeah let's get ready to fry this baby okay please don't just put your oil on fire and start cutting your mix in it no please allow it preheat a bit allow it to get hot a bit and just before you start frying you want to put your your heat on medium or low so this is where the whole work in puff puff comes in you guys it took me years to learn how to cut puff puff but um yeah it's pretty much scooping it from one corner with your four fingers then taking over to your thumb and your index finger tight it so much and try to press it out from there just like this i don't know if that explains it but or more <laughs> just watch closely again and please once you cut it into the pan and it goes down do not try to bring it up it's going to automatically come up by itself before you can start turning it make sure you keep on turning and turning so that it gets golden brown all at once so yeah our pop pop is ready easy peasy i really hope to learn a thing or two from this video please do well to subscribe i'm trying to get to 2k also like and comment and i will see you next time bye